Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, how are you, Ems? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi, Cassie. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Byron. Hi, Byron. Joseph. Good evening. Oh, where are you, Jennifer? Good evening. It's kind of good evening for me as well. So, guys, let us know where you are watching from. How was your Memorial Day? Hot. Very hot. Was it? Well, that's good after the cold winter. No? I know. I'd rather have it than, you know, cold and raining like it has been. So, it was nice. Hello. Oh, hello from Miami. So, today I'm in the hot seat. I'm going to circle back to Memorial Day. Uh, my um, And today is also, did you know, today is National Donut Day. Oh, yeah. Happy Donut Day. Today is also <laughs> National, Happy National Donut Day. So I'm going to tie. I'm, it actually works out really well because today I'm going to be doing, um, uh, what would you call the cookies that I'm doing? Donut wedding cookies or donut yes. wedding or something like that. But they're not... Um, You'll see what I'm, I'm going to be uh, showing you today. But I wanted to just tell you why I'm doing that. Um, I have a friend with whom I've been friend for um, many, many years. We were pen pals back in elementary school. Um, and my friend Rachel, she started bread, uh, Montclair Bread Company, uh, I think over 10 years ago. And it grew from this small, tiny little bakery to this giant bakery. And she found love again, and she got married on Memorial Day. So I wanted to surprise her with some cookies. So I decided to do uh, cookies in colors of their new uh, Rebel Rise logo. Um, so I'll show you how to do those, okay? And here are the donuts if you wanted to um, get your saliva got it going. <laughs> Her donuts are amazing. So if you're ever in Montclair, uh, hop in uh, to Montclair Bread a Company or now Rival Rice uh, Donuts and um, try one of their donuts. Looks delicious. Okay, so let me bring up the camera here. Little dance. All right. So here's my hand. Let me just, just the exposure a little bit. Okay. All right. So today I'm going to be using... Um, cookies, my soft sugar cookie recipe that I've uh, shared a recipe with you guys many times. It's listed on a blog. And for that reason, I don't have the spare cookie here. Oh, here. So they look like this, but because they, they have baking soda and baking powder, they bake, uh, they don't bake completely flat. The, the edge is slightly curved. So I like to trim them over and decorate the underside. Oh, that's smart. But, so that's what I will be I will be doing today. So let me just quickly show you the first step, and that's the flooding. And I'm gonna be uh, I'll have I have three different kind of designs, but uh, flooding is the same. Again, this is the shape. So this is actually a rainbow shape um, that I have made, and I'm just going to use a marker. Um, what do you mean you had it made? You had made the shape like with. With the cutters, with the cutters. I, I can't find the cutters. Um, I wanted to show you because they're really nice cutters. They're okay. plastic, but they're really nice quality. I bought them here. Mm -hmm. um, but I think you can get different uh, rainbow cutter sets. It, it comes with a rainbow and also with uh, the cloud. So oh, nice. With the cloud in a little bit. I'm going to do three colors. And I would say use about, for this, you could use... 15, but 15 to 20 second consistency. I'm not waiting for the pink to dry. I'm just going to do all colors. I've seen lots of rainbow cookies lately that aren't rainbow colors. So this is a very trendy. Oh, yeah, okay. Because so my, my husband was like, you're going to get in trouble because they're not rainbow colors. <laughs> you know, the, <laughs> the rainbow police is always there. Um, mm -hmm. I, I wasn't really going for the for the rainbow colors here, but. Um, did you have a live stream on Tuesday? Joe was wondering. No, we did not do a live stream on Tuesday. Marlon wasn't feeling well, and 
is still recovering. So hopefully, um, mm -hmm. go down next Tuesday. So now I'm going to do yellow. For this yellow, I used electric yellow, which really produces really, really nice bright yellow. And this is Americolor brand? Yes. Yes, that's the Americolor brand. I love these colors together. Me too. Me too. It was a good cho choice of colors in their logo, I think. Yeah. Thank you, Byron. Oh, from Sri, Sri Lanka. Hello from Delaware, Wisconsin. Oh, Byron is from Wisconsin. I did not know that. One of my favorite places in the country. Love Wisconsin. It's very cold in winter now, huh? Yeah, it is. Very, very cold. All right, so next step. So you have to let that dry. Now I'm going to show you the first step of how I made uh, these tiny little donuts. They're basically donut sprinkles. Mm -hmm. So I have a template here, and I put it in a, inside of a um, protector sheet. And I'm using, this is a number four piping tip. And I colored my royal icing with uh, some ivory food coloring. You can see my icing is leaving a slight peak there. So I would say maybe 25 second consistency here. You know, you, you don't want to go too, too runny because then it's going to spread and you're going to lose the hole in the middle. Yeah. And is this template in your coffee shop? There is a template for um, donut for mini donuts in a, in a coffee shop, yes. Okay. So if you want to get this template and Hanny's recipes, you can go to her coffee shop and the link is on the screen. So I'm just moving in and then we have to uh, let these um, at least crust before you add the sprinkles because if the base is still wet, the sprinkles will stick to also to the, this uh, donut section. So before we add the glaze. Mm, okay. But these are quite tiny. So they, it will take maybe 20, 30 minutes for them to kind of crust enough mm -hmm. so you can um, decorate them. And I'm going to show you here, I have some. Okay, I'm just trying to get them here. So some of these are already decorated with um, glaze. Do you have a favorite donut? Boston cream. Ooh. That's my favorite. Is it? <laughs> That's like the pastry cream, huh? Yes. Yeah. So guys, let us know what is your favorite donut? Maybe um, Amber's is Boston cream that's with the filling. Do you do you prefer filling or do you like it with the topping? Do you like uh, bacon on your donuts? Do you like, I don't know. I've you know, had that before, yeah. Different uh, toppings um, on donuts that you can try. But let us know which one is your favorite. And how about a yeast donut versus a cake donut? Oh, yeast donut all the way. Yeah. It depends for me where it's from. Like, you know, some places do cake donuts really well. So. Yeah. No, <laughs> I've had a cake donut. But the, 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 you mean, because real donut, like the yeast donut, it's spelled differently. It's. Like dough, no. <laughs> yeah, yes, <clears throat> chocolate filled. Yeah, that's a good one, too. So now you're adding the glaze. I'm adding the glaze on the top. Yes, oh, speaking of glaze, somebody on my YouTube channel had asked, um, if we've ever tried Franken frosting, I think that's what it's called, right? Well, that's basically royal with meringue mixed with uh, glaze with with the one that you I, I think mm -hmm. uh, I think so yeah so yeah. it's a little I bit think. of royal icing and a little bit of glaze yeah. and what makes glaze is basically sugar water and um, um, corn syrup yeah or so that would basically be like adding corn syrup to yes. your yes. Royal I icing. Really think so I mean I have done corn syrup many times mm -hmm. it what it does. Uh, for me, it softens the bite once the royal icing dries. It's not as hard. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to take my, um, these are just some no perils. A little handle, hand be spatula or not spatula, bucket or whatever you want. Oops. Scoop. Oh, scoop. Let's see if 
saw this. You can see it closed up. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's already coming off the. I'm just going to leave it. I think it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with it. So you have to let that dry, and then these are dry, so you can just pop them. You can just remove them. It's super easy to remove these. I'm just gonna put these on the side here because we'll be using these. And you can make these ahead of time. I have a full tutorial about different uh, realizing transfers on my blog, anyolas.com. Let me just put these up here. And you can learn how to make different different realizing transfers. Um, I would add up to a quarter cup, quarter cup to a third cup, but maybe not more. Uh, For how much icing? Per uh, batch made with two pounds. Okay. Of sugar. And then you have to store these in an airtight container away from direct sunlight and moisture. Um, you want to store these away from sunlight because the sunlight will make the colors fade. And for example, if you have purple, oftentimes purple will turn blue. If it's mm -hmm. fondant, that yeah. also applies to fondant. If you're working with fondant, how do I know? Believe me, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know too. I got <laughs> into a little bit of trouble when I worked at a cake place. Um, that I part of the cake was uncovered, so it faded. Oh. Because pink fades so fast, like it's pink fondant, pink fondant. Pink fondant, it fades. Yeah. But it didn't change color, did it? Um, no, it just like it just faded. It just faded. You yeah. got trouble. Sorry. Not trouble, trouble, but you know, a little oh. bit of like, why did you do that? <laughs> why did you do that? Well, it was a long time ago. Oh, you worked in a donut shop for 10 years. So what is your favorite donut, Carol? Or do you have any tips on how to dip donuts? I don't know. Or did you make donuts or was it where you uh, selling donuts? Oh, that sounds fun, Charlotte. I love that design. Any plans? What's that? Any plans for the week? Um, probably swimming. Oh, it sounds fun. Yeah. Um, last weekend we had a yard sale, which oh. was interesting. <laughs> what well, did you um, did you get rid of stuff? Yeah. So we we moved like almost two years ago and we just had so much stuff like you know baby stuff little oh. just mostly baby oh. stuff to get rid of um, I, I just sorry i just uh, messed up i realized i'm not using correct consistency that's why it's blood oh okay so show us what you're gonna do so i'm not gonna do much i have spare cookie <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> well, with but, this, I was like looking at it like, why is it becoming yeah. a blob? And I have a different consistency here. So, but in that case, if somebody doesn't have an extra cookie, they can uh, use their. Um, I, I, I think I would just make it a dot. Maybe you I could use this you little. Could, you could use this, this this little tool, but then yeah. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's see, sorry. I mean, if you're really desperate, you use your two-in-one tool, and then you take a damp paper towel and kind of try to get. Yes. What the... sometimes works is letting it crust for a little bit. Yeah. Then you can really, like, avoid smearing it too much. I didn't realize I had the wrong bag in my hand. I just find my icing that really, really thin. So I don't really have, do I have, uh, let's see. I have some alcohol here. So I'm just going to use my, so this is alcohol. I'm just using it on a paper towel here. And I'm just going to run it across. Let's see if it does. Yeah, that's working pretty well. 
it does work. The only thing is, it sometimes takes off the shine. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna make it a little dull. Yes, so it's really but make yeah, it you really dull. need that last cookie. There are ways to fix it. Yes. All right. So now, do you have any kids music artist ideas? Maybe do you have? Um, do you like music for the kids to listen to? Um, we've been, I mean, they just watch YouTube videos. My kids, they watch like, um, Blippi. Are you familiar with Blippi, Han? No. <laughs> Can you says, well, what is it? Um, it's just like, um, you know, a kid's... Glippy? To Glippy. Glippy. Mm. <laughs> it must be something new because I don't... Yeah, um, relatively new, yeah. So these hearts are sh holding their shape much better because you've got the thicker consistency. The thicker consistency. It's not like super thick, but it's definitely thicker than the running I see my head. And I know a lot of people are always amazed at how you can cut such a small hole in the tip of the bag and keep it round, which is something that I have a little trouble with too, but your icing must be so smooth. Well, it's, clog. it's not too thick. My icing in for this is not too, too thick. Mm -hmm. It's um, like a Medium-ish consistency. And I'm looking for the oh here they are. Oh, let me do this first. So I'm gonna write on the bottom here. It's very cute. Is this about the same consistency that you use for the hearts or is that a no, little thicker? A little thicker. This is actually a little thicker. So and cute. I forgot to get my donuts. So let's see. So we have, we got pink, chalk, oh, this one is with different sprinkles, pink. I'm going to fit our own, let's see, um, five. I'm going to attach them with a little bit of royal. We don't want to overdo it. These are quite, quite small. Oops. My icing is on the on your side. I would avoid putting them on the wet royal icing because this is dark. So what sometimes can happen when you this is funny she put donut holes in the, between the layers i love that that must have been really delicious though that sounds really yummy it's stuffed with donut holes so yeah. what were you saying about the donuts. oh that it could uh, actually oops, potentially um sit into the ivory color uh -huh. real icing in the donut because what happens when you put this decoration on wet real icing this is dry this is wet so dry is trying to absorb some of the like the liquid and because yeah. it's dark so it also colors it might color lighter colored real mm -hmm. icing transfer, so i would avoid putting it on wet dry on wet. There are different applications of releasing transfers. So this is dry on dry, and dry. Okay. So now I'm going to do, oh, I forgot. So here we go. We're going to add some dots.
Oh, I didn't tell you. So I don't know if I sent you a picture, but I did go to a local like a pastry shop. Mm -hmm. I don't think I saw the pictures. Um, they had like really amazing assortment of stuff. But, um, what I got was a hazelnut coffee, something, something. It was delicious, but it was so sweet. Oh, yeah. You, when you were here in Spain, um, you had, I'm sure, you had desserts. What did you experience that it was also like very sweet? I really cannot remember eating dessert. No? Like, may, I think I, the only thing I can remember having is gelato. Like, oh, wow. that was good, but I really don't remember. Do you remember having desserts? It was, it's been so long. So this is first design and then second design I'm going to do because she started, my friend, she started also um, this club, they call it Fueled by Donuts. Hey June. So you know I'm dedicating this to Rachel, right? My friend Rachel from the Montclair Bread. I've been searching for a mini microplane that can be used to smooth out edges. Yes, you can. I think that should be available pretty much everywhere now these days. I yeah, also found that chocolate one because there are different ones. Uh, chocolate ones um, also works if you can find the, the zester, oh. like a fine zester. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just look, maybe look on Amazon. Maybe in, you know, in a store it may be hard to find, but on Amazon you should be able to find some, I think. So now we're going to do some stick figures. And what I did previously, I uh, I made, you know, I wasn't sure how it's going to fit, so I actually um, did a test run. Yes, I agree, June. So I put a piece of this is parchment. You want to use parchment that you can see through or you can use wax paper and then you can draw or pipe on it to see, you know, how it looks before you do it directly on a cookie. So hopefully I can get the stick figures going. I just have to put it up here because so I can remember. And you are a runner yourself, right? Yeah, I'm a relatively new runner. Just did my first 5K um, two months ago. That's a, oh, has it been two months already? Well, no, maybe just, a, it, it was in April, but like the end of April, so not quite two months. Are you going to do another one? I would like to do the same one again next year. Do you have ambitions to do uh, longer? Yeah, I would like to get up to the 10K race eventually. Yeah. That would be amazing, huh? <laughs> yeah. The farthest I've gone so far is four miles in one run. That's the longest. That's well, you started with zero, so I think that's better than zero. Yeah, yeah. June. <laughs> I know. That's That makes sense. I haven't been running myself much lately, although I, I do, yeah, I do love running. It's hard to find the time. Like, I just have to get up earlier to make the time for it. But, you know, like we were saying before, we went live that it just makes you feel good to like yes when you just good endorphins right it's like mm -hmm. yeah it, it helps me sleep better but here, here people, here people it makes you sleep better Oops, yeah here people i uh, see them running at the beach so that's my uh um, i'm hoping that um, i can start running at the beach at the beach oh yeah well, not that the like not on the sand. I think that would kill oh, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would end up being like, you know, uh, please help me get out. Yeah. But um, 
No, I think on a like on a, like there, there's like a paved area that you can, um, and I see put people running there. But where you are, you must have to go either early in the morning or in the evening because it gets hot, right? It does get hot. So it's usually in the evening, I see people running um, more than in the, in the morning. But in the morning, you, yes, you can do also in the morning. But in the morning, you have to go maybe, I don't know, 7 o'clock or something like that. Yeah. Early. So, yeah, I, I prefer in the evening, I think. So these are kind of funny looking running. <laughs> <laughs> they are fueled by donuts. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay. Have you figured out Chinese or Japanese dragon? I have not. I have a list that's probably like over a hundred cookies long of things I want to do. So sometimes it takes me a long time to get to a particular design. If you ever decide to do dragons, I have a dragon shape, so. Oh, so we could do a collab? Yes. Hi, Gwen. Hello. Hi, Gwen. It's fun to watch you pipe the writing freehand like that. I'm glad it's fun for you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Glad you made it back on, Joseph. I always have internet issues here. Okay, so now I'm going to just use my this is navy blue. To make the navy blue, I I don't I don't think I have navy blue food coloring. So I just usually use royal blue with black. Mm -hmm. That's what I usually do too. Yes. Okay. So I'm not at all. Because um, yeah, I don't think I have navy blue. My favorite donut, I think it's because I grew up with donuts with um, like not necessarily like jelly, but like jam or something. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like it with just powdered sugar. Yeah. So this is the second and then the third design. Let me grab. So here we're going to do the names. Hopefully I can. Um, but before we do that, let me grab my editor marker. So this is fully dry, okay? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Joe. We I'm will gonna... call you Joe. Hi, Joe. Last time, too, and I forgot. Sorry. Hello. The truth hurts. Hi. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> but truth is always... Right. My grandmother used to say true, uh, not true, the lies have, have lie, um, has short lives or something like that. And so you don't, you know, like you can't hide the life for too long. Mm -hmm. This is an edible marker. You mainly see us using black edible marker from this brand. This is a dual tip. What that means that one end has a fine tip and then if I can get it open. <laughs> so this is the, the regular tip. 
and then this is a fine tip. And that looks like a rainbow dust brand, right? Yes, and this is a rainbow dust, rainbow dust uh, alibo marker, food art pen, and it's red. They do have different colors. Unfortunately, I don't think they sell them in um, in sets. So yeah, I think you can. Uh, You can um, you have to get them separately. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on the top here, just so I'm not touching the cookie all the time when I'm doing this. It's going to help me get started. Yes, that is very true. Can remember a lie, you will always remember the truth. Yes, if mm -hmm. you tell too many lies, you won't you won't remember. I totally agree. Mm -hmm. So that paper is just there for just protect. So I'm not touching it too much. Yeah. If somebody, if you're giving this, giving this, I mean, you would wear probably gloves if you were yeah. doing this for an order. But. Right. Yeah, that's consistency is really difficult to get it right, especially when doing those tiny details because you want it to come out of the tip easily, but you don't want it to be so thin that it loses its shape. That's so cute. Okay, so now we're going to write the name on the top, okay? So it's Rachel and Brad. So Rachel is longer than Brad. So if you want to, you can again place a piece of uh, parchment on the top. And um, what also helps, like, like I said, to, to do it on a parchment, and then you're like, oh, okay, so this is, you have to start writing are here so you can fit it in or you can also start in the middle that way you you will have it you know it only spaced out mm -hmm. so i'm just going to start here thank you stephanie for the stars thank you I'm just mesmerized by the piping. So Rachel and Brad. <sighs> I know. You have to hold your breath when you do it. I'm going to, yes. But it's like uh, if you hold your breath um, for too long. <laughs> yeah, that's, good. Yeah, that's, yeah. Not good. that's not good. Yes. So. I try to do like kind of more shallow breathing when I'm doing that kind of piping. And I'm raising, you can see I'm raising the line above slightly, so that way it falls on and it's really neat. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to do. Now Joe, this, this is thicker than 10. Yeah. This is like, what would you call oh, this like, consistency? Piping? This like 25, at least 25, 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. It's like um, um, toothpaste, maybe depending on the brand of the toothpaste, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> because this is kind of crest toothpaste is too runny. Um, 
it, it holds is it hold it a soft piece? It needs to yes it holds like when you pull the spatula up the there is a peak right there's a peak mm -hmm. so this peak is not stiff so it immediately falls down but it never really becomes like blended with the icing but if you give it like a good good shake it will start to smooth mm -hmm. out but it shouldn't be like too fluid because then so your icing will start spreading. So yeah. what you want to do, you want to um, test it. You want to test it. And I, and also for writing, it's better to use fresh icing. I find that it, it, it's just, it just works better. Icing that has been frozen doesn't really, I mean, it works, but it's harder, I think, for writing. It doesn't give you the result, the best result. So yeah. if you have to do some writing, you can make up a small batch because usually you don't need a whole lot of icing for writing. You don't need like two, you know, four cups of icing. So make up a small batch of fresh um, icing and um, see if, if it gives you better results. I'm using tipless, but you can also try using um, PME tips. Yep, I use uh, PME 1.5 for 1. writing. 5. Yes. For this line, I I have to break it because I can't do it. Mm. You probably could, but I have terrible wrists. Well, that's hard to like turn your wrist in that that angle. So I stop and I pick it up, and it's okay. Now we're going to finish up by adding some dots. So we just made, um, so this is design, this is the design, and here is the design. So we made three lovely kind of I guess a rainbowish designs. Mm -hmm. I also used my uh, cutter to make the clouds. So let me show you this this shape. So this is the shape for the cloud. So again I'm gonna turn it over. And I already actually started here. So I've got six donuts here. Oh cute. So what you can do um, if you don't you know you could easily as funny as this looks you could um, just get you know I guess you never thought that you could you would use a cloud to make donuts but <laughs> yeah look at things you know look what you have and see if it would work so you could attach it onto here and have like a you know nice set for someone you could use the cloud to create different designs so how I did the cloud I used edible marker Is it, is it like this? This is again. I'm decorating underside because it's smoother. Mm -hmm. I'm using edible marker. So this is going to be my. I'm not doing the hole because if I do the hole, it leaves the outline right, and sometimes it will kind of. You can see. Mm -hmm. For the icing, so I'm yeah. going to that. Now I'm going to do the bottom one here, and then from here we can we can see, okay, like that. And I'll just show you too how I did. And then you have to add, basically, you have to do. Let's say, let's say you start with this one, so then you can do this one, or I would start with this one, and then you can do this one. And well, no, you really can do only two. Yeah, you have to make sure you're doing the yeah, other one. Yeah, every other one. Well, perforated mats, I get. I personally get them from Amazon. I don't know where you get yours. Yeah, same. Yes. Yeah. So if you just look on look on Amazon for perforated baking mats, you'll find them. I use their black with a red strip around the outside.
And this icing is done here, so I would suggest that you make the, the donut hole bigger because it will start closing mm -hmm. in the center there. Okay, and then I'm going to do this one. Yeah, make the hole. Is this the same that you use to make the transfers? No, this is a thinner. This is okay. Thinner. Uh, transfers were thicker, thicker icing. That was, I think, about the same consistency as the letters, the donuts. Okay. Because that I had the, I had a piping tip number four in there. So with the four more icing is coming out. If you're using finer tip, less icing is coming out and you are able to get a really nice fine line. So then we have to let these rest, and then you can do, um, you know, the ones that are not touching, and then mm -hmm. wait until you have this shape here. And all we have to do here is basically um, add the sprinkles. So that's super easy. I'm going to do it on a tray. Hey, uh, hey Anna. Hello. Um, Joe wants to know the calendar for June, so I will bring that up. Um, okay. at the end, if we have it up here, we probably do, right? I don't know if we had a June, June calendar, but if you have it on, yeah, I don't know if we have a June calendar there. Yeah, it's not here. Um, but just off the top of my head, I think I'm, yeah, I'm decorating next week, next Friday. And then will you and Marvi on No, I'm decorating, oops, uh, this is uh, uh, my mistake. Uh, yeah, the line across, I'm doing um, on Tuesday again. Oh, hey, Sally, I was wondering where Sally was. Here she is. Oh yeah, hi, Sally. Yeah, I posted a little I, late today so the reminder in my Patreon. So now with the sprinkles and a little up in here, oops. Oh, I'm going really heavy with the sprinkles. Why not? Today is a donut day, donut mm -hmm. national donut day, in case you didn't know. So um, grab yourself some donuts on your way home. Mm -hmm. You already did on your way to work. And then you can easily put these in. Container. These little glass jars there are from IKEA. Really handy. Sally loves the cookies. Thank you. So here we go. So this just gives you maybe some idea for someone you could use this rainbow shape to maybe wish someone happy birthday or some, you know, um, like I mentioned earlier, these I created for my friend Rachel, who just got married last weekend. And she owns a um, bakery and, and is famous for her donuts and um, running um, stick figures are because she created um, a running club fueled by donuts so these all got all these guys are running for donuts <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoy enjoy this little um donut adventure here and we'll be back do we have any questions we'll be back on tuesday so let me just see okay there all right hi <laughs> so we'll be back again on tuesday um i guess i'm a little out of frame and um, you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us. And again, you can find the template for the mini donuts in my coffee shop. Link to the coffee shop is also listed in my Instagram. So if you see my Instagram account, there is a link. Um, there, as you just click on it, and there, there are different tabs that you can, uh, you know, click through. And one of them is also um, shop templates. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.